Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Natural Grocers Nutrition Education presentation. We are pleased to once again present Dr. Audrey Ross. Dr. Ross is Country Life's Senior National Educator. Dr. Ross is a naturopath, master herbalist, consultant, CME teacher, and author. Welcome, Dr. Ross. Thanks, Janine. I so appreciate you letting me join the group again. We're going to talk about some interesting things today. And one of the things that I'm very proud of being with Country Life is we always look at how we can help people power their own greatness and provide information so that we all can make decisions based on what we need for our own personal health. So today we're going to talk about keeping the family healthy back to school. And it takes guts. And that's more than just that common thinking of, oh, we need to be powerful. We need good gut health. And what's interesting is we're now seeing a lot of information come out about the importance of gut health. And we know that there's a gut brain connection through the vagus nerve. And there is a lot of research books, science that actually shows that good gut health plays a major role in a lot of different functions in the body. And what we look at specifically for our own personal health is our gut health really speaks a lot about how healthy our immune system is, how healthy our digestive system is. So there's a lot involved with gut health. So what is the gut? We hear of the gut. The gut is an organ system that starts with taking in food, digesting the food, absorbing the nutrients, and eliminating the waste. That is your gut system, it's an organ system. So when we think about that, we hear about the microbiome. Now, many of you have probably heard microbiome. You may have seen it in ads on TV for body washes. You may have heard about it as far as nutritional supplementation, but what is the microbiome? So the microbiome is a community of organisms that we host. They are not human cells. There's trillions of them in our gut and on our skin. Microbiome is made up of all those little bacteria that we often hear about as probiotics. So they're very important. And sometimes that microbiome is called the second brain because of the number of neurons in it. So when we think about the gut brain connection, it's got a lot to do with that microbiome. So what disrupts our microbiome? dietary things that we're not supposed to do, prescription medication, too little dietary fiber, excess sugar, additives, preservatives, chemical exposures, those all disrupt a healthy microbiome. And what's interesting is we all have a very unique setup of a microbiome. We all have like a fingerprint for our microbiome. So when you have a balanced microbiome, everything works well, but when your microbiome is not balanced, when there's too many of one thing or not enough of another, you get disrupted signals between the gut and the brain so the functions aren't happening, your immune system might be a little compromised, your gut lining may be affected, that butyrate, that's that lining of the gut, and you have a stressed digestive tract. Many of us have got a stressed life and we get a stressed digestive tract, which then gets everything out of balance. So to stay healthy, keep everybody healthy in this back to school, whether you're going to grade school, middle school, high school, or college, getting back to school means exposure to a lot of different pathogens. And the microbiome, remember, is that front line of defense and very important for our immune system. So when we think about all those probiotics, we've heard probiotics for decades and how probiotics are important. Well, we have over 7,000 different species of probiotics in our gut, and there are 17 trillion organisms. So you've got the number of species and then multiply those out, that's 7 trillion. And each person has a different balance. It's like your fingerprint, it's gonna be a balance. Now, when we go to the health food store, we see the probiotics on the shelf and you kind of wonder which one you should take. Well, there's only 31 species of bifidobacterium and 180 species of lactobacillus bacteria. Now, add those two together and you don't get 7,000. And too many of one kind 
gets our body out of balance. A lot of people have had issues. They're taking more and more probiotics and getting less and less benefit. It's because you have those 7,000 different bacteria, but we only can consume through supplementation about 211. And then you get some from food. So we have to look at what we can do. How do we do this? How does your body do this? Well, your body can make those unique different bacteria based on what your body needs at that time. Prebiotics feed probiotics. Now, prebiotics have come into the marketplace. Oh, prebiotics are important too for probiotics. First, it was just the probiotics. Then we realized those probiotics need food, which is the prebiotic. So all of these biotic names kind of get us confused. So prebiotics, food that feeds your probiotics so they can balance your microbiome. So when we think prebiotics, what is that? Prebiotics are those fibers, okay? Inulin, there's soluble and insoluble fibers. They're the ones that actually help feed those probiotics and ferment in the digestive tract. Probiotics are the living organisms. Those are those organisms that we host. And your major categories would be the lactobacilli and the bifidobacterium. So prebiotics and probiotics go hand in hand. Think of it as if you were a probiotic and you didn't get food, how long would you live? So prebiotics are the food for your probiotics. So lactobacillus probiotic strains are, most are the most common, and they're usually found highly concentrated in the small intestine. Bifidobacterium, large intestine, there are not as many of them, but they're also important for making like B12, biotin, and K2. So they're important for doing a lot of different things. So where are these probiotics? They're everywhere. Remember I said you have them on your skin, you have them inside, you have them in your ears, you have them in your nose. Probiotics, those healthy, good bacteria are everywhere and we need them to stay healthy. Now, there's 10 times more probiotic cells in your body than you have human cells. So that tells you the importance of having a balanced probiotic composition inside and outside. So now we're going to talk postbiotic. So prebiotics are the food that feed probiotics. Probiotics then break down and ferment nutrients to make postbiotics, those micros, microbes that actually go into the body to help, help keep stay healthy. So there's an innovative, phenomenal ingredient called Epicor. It's a whole food fermentate. It's fermented Saccharomyces cerevisiae. And why this is so important, this helps your whole gut microbiome. So research was done on Epicor. Epicor has been around for 75 years. It originally started as an additive for animal feed to make animals healthier. And research has shown that this whole food fermentate actually helps humans with their health. It reinforces the immune system first line of defense. It positively changes your gut bacteria. What does that mean? It means it balances out that gut bacteria. Remember, too much of one, not good. When you balance it out, you get normalized it's homeostasis everything in order. They also found that at 630 milligrams per day of this whole food fermentate, it actually increases the level of butyrate in your gut. And butyrate is that real thin lining on the inside of your gut that protects your gut. So this is another important feature that you wanna look for. Another study was done and published in National Institutes of Health that this whole food fermentate is actually considered an immune modulating ingredient. And you can help support your immune system within two hours of consumption. And that's important nowadays, especially. You want to help not only your gut health, but also support your immune health. So Epicor is a rapid immune modulating ingredient as well. So that's something you wanna look for. Prebiotics, probiotics, and then this postbiotic Epicor product. Aloe vera, another important product that you can look at to help support gut health. For me, aloe vera is like the superfood of superfoods. I love aloe vera because it contains so many components. Now, aloe vera, most people think of taking aloe vera if you've got an upset stomach or putting aloe vera on burns. Great. 
but it has so many other components to it. And there's a lot of different aloe vera on the market, so you need to be able to look at the aloe vera to understand whether it is truly processed to where you can get the most benefit. Some of the questions I always get about aloe vera is, should I do a whole leaf juice or should I do an inner fillet juice? Well, a whole leaf aloe vera does have its purpose. Okay, it contains something called bitter aloins that work as a laxative. So if you want to do kind of like a natural laxative and want to use aloe vera for that purpose, you want to get whole leaf. Inner filet aloe, that's where all those good nutrients are found. If it's processed properly, you will get all of those great components that I showed you on the previous slide. So inner filet aloe, you can take up to eight ounces a day if it's processed properly. And there's a lot of other benefits that you can achieve from aloe vera. Even National Institutes of Health is doing research on aloe vera about antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal properties. So aloe vera is one of those ingredients and products that are coming to the forefront as far as supporting health and especially that gut health. Remember, no matter what the age, we want to have a good, healthy gut to have a good, strong immune system so that we can stay healthy as the school year starts and we're exposed to all these different pathogens. So you want to have a happy microbiome. You want your microbiome in your brain to be happy, connected, and ready to go. That's what it's all about, that gut-brain connection, everything in homeostasis, in balance, and at peak operating systems. Now, what do we have to show that? These are some unique products that we have at Country Life and that are available at natural grocers that you can look at as far as what you might want to do to help increase that microbiome health, to help balance out your gut, to help you stay strong immune-wise for the upcoming school year. And we started with probiotics, right? Probiotics and prebiotics. This is a great option that you might want to look at. This is a powder. It is made with fermented organic food, which is great because that's the base of it, and your probiotics. Now, probiotics, remember, need prebiotics, right? They need that food. So this product includes the organic agave inulin. That's that fiber. So this is mixed up really easily. You can take some of it. It's like I said, a powder. You can mix it in a yogurt. You can mix it in applesauce. There's a lot of different ways that you can use this product. You can mix it in water if you want, but this is a good balance. It's not too many probiotics. It's not too much of anything. It's a nice, simple balance to start that repopulation of your good bacteria in your gut. If you want to go something in a capsule form, we've got the Powerdophilus, again, available at your natural grocer's store. You've got your lactobacillus and your bifidobacterium strains. There's 12 billion live probiotic cells per three capsules. So if you want just a little bit, you take one capsule, that's 4 billion. And this is designed to help support that microflora, all that the good bacteria, both in the small and the large intestine. Remember, lactobacillus, little, small intestine. Bifidobacterium, B, large intestine, big. So you've got both sets of the gut supported. This product, the gut connection product, is ideal. And in my personal opinion, I think everybody should be taking at least one of these products every day. I do. So each daily dose provides that 630 milligrams of that whole food fermentate epicor. Remember, we talked about that and how that supports your immune system. It balances out your gut flora. It helps increase that butyrate, that lining of your gut. And these also then include ingredients that support condition-specific challenges. So digestive balance, it has a lot of extra fiber in it. So if you're not going to the bathroom regularly, that's something you might want to look at there. Sleep balance, we all need sleep and good quality sleep. Cognitive balance, this may be something if you're thinking about your college kids going off to school, you don't have control of what they're eating anymore. Think about this, you're getting them something to help their gut health, to help their immune system, and to help their cognitive balance. So this is a great thing here. Stress balance as a parent, I know this is something, one of my favorites, because it helps with a stress response along with immune support, the gut health, and stress health. So this is a great product line. These are available. Go and select which one's going to work best for you. And remember, it's a three-in-one supplement. This is a fantastic supplement. So it's a prebiotic and a postbiotic. 
it is not a probiotic because it helps your gut balance out the probiotics that are already there, kind of making your fingerprint a little bit stronger. So this is a great way to start. And then the aloe vera. We talked about aloe vera, right? What we want to remember to look at is the supplement facts panel on aloe vera. At Country Life, we only use the active aloe, which is the most researched form of aloe vera in the country. It is grown in West Texas. It is processed with a Q matrix processing to keep all those nutrients intact. And with the study that has been done on the active aloe, you can take up to eight ounces a day. And with the eight ounces a day, they actually have studies that show it helps support the immune system, it helps support the cardiovascular system, helps support the digestive system. What you wanna look for on every aloe that you take is the polysaccharide content. The naturally occurring polysaccharides in one ounce of aloe is 15 milligrams. So when you're comparing aloe vera products, look at the supplement facts panel. Look for that 15 milligrams of polysaccharide in one ounce serving. So you see here on the supplement facts panel, the serving size is one fluid ounce, and you see providing 15 milligrams of organic aloe polysaccharides. That's what you want to see on your aloe bottle. Now there's the basic aloe, which really has no flavor to it. And if you've ever tasted an aloe that you kind of get that nasty taste in your mouth, it could be because of sodium benzoate, and that would be in the other ingredients listing. Sodium benzoate is a preservative. We use citric acid as a preservative, so you don't have that uh, icky taste. So the active aloe used in the aloe vera basic, that's all you have. In the aloe vera plus, you have a little bit of a tincture of these herbs. Now these herbs, if you look at it, you go, oh, Essiac, it's a detox. There's not enough in there to be called a detox. I call this a tonic. And it has a little bit of a weak tea flavor. Now I will use this aloe as my liquid when I make my smoothies. So that's kind of an option that you have too, to get the aloe in. Maybe you don't like the taste of aloe, or you've already got a preconceived notion that aloe tastes bad. I would suggest you try this. If it still doesn't taste good to you, mix it with something else. The most important part is that you're getting the naturally occurring polysaccharides that you need to balance out your system. Okay, that's where the nutrients come from. So the Egyptians used to call aloe the plant of immortality. Now, we all know we're not gonna live forever, but Aloe has been around and used for centuries, and it's an amazing ingredient. That's all I have for you today to help support your gut microbiome and keeping it in balance and having the guts to go back to school and keeping the family healthy. I want to thank you for your attention, and I'm sure if you have any questions, you can email, stop into your local natural grocery store, talk to your nutrition health coach. All of these products are available at your natural grocery store. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate it. Oh, that was so great. Thank you, Dr. Ross. And thank you all for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and watch for more presentations from Natural Grocers. Thanks again, Dr. Ross. Thank you. Appreciate you doing the presentation. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks, you too.